Rather a strange looking building, kind of hexagonal. Okay, good morning from the seawall at or uh, well, near Tollsbury. Um, I've got Tollsbury just behind me where I've walked from. Uh, it's probably about uh, a mile and a half just under and I'm looking north at the moment and this is the the uh, what used to be a railway line uh, that used to go it used to be called the Crab and Winkle line that uh, went from here and run north up to the uh, town of Kelverden which is about eight miles from here and it was a light gauge or a small gauge railway and uh, it used to be a pier here that uh, and there was a station here and I think it was uh, used as the name might suggest to uh, land um, crustaceans <laughs> crabs etc uh, etc et and winkles I suppose uh, along the pier here and then uh, run them up to uh, Kelverden to uh, go to uh, London and uh, wherever from there but it closed some years ago I'll have to, um, or the, the station that was here uh, there is a, a sort of a picture of it here on this information board uh, Tollsbury Pier Station uh, but uh, I think it says here it was completed and opened in 1907 um, but uh, apparently 14 years later for whatever reason it closed anyway I'll see if I can find some uh, some pictures of it on the uh, on the internet and put them up. So this is uh, the part of where the old line was and the pier used to go out here. There's actually an old uh, wartime pillbox over here as well, I think. Uh, in the distance there, got Bradwell Power Station, nuclear power station. And uh, over there, I don't know if you can see it, is the Ross Revenge, which is the uh, ship for the for Radio Caroline and the idea is that I'm going to operate on this little shingle spit here little sort of little shingle beach I'll try and get fairly high up um, got about an hour and a half maybe till high tide but we're not spring tide so I'm hoping I'm going to be safe here and uh, won't need to uh, won't need to move. So hopefully there won't be anybody coming down here. Now we're set up just here. I think I'll put the uh, put the vertical up. I think I did bring a dipole with me as well, but uh, I think I'll put the vertical up. So the pier used to run out along there. Uh, there's nothing to see of it now. You might be able to see some of the posts at uh, at low tide maybe. I don't know, I've never been down here before. Up that way is uh, Molden, the town of Molden. So this is the uh, Blackwater, River Blackwater, coming in <laughs> quite quickly actually. Um, so I've got the vertical set up, and it's the usual, uh, usual set up. So I've got the uh, Soda Beams Carbon 6 pole, and the feed point is, uh, is elevated, but not by much. Um, I could, pay out on each of the anchor points uh, a bit more guy and that would uh, be able to elevate the uh, the ends out a little bit more um, but I'm not sure how much time I've got here and how high the water's going to come I'm going to check the time and the predicted height time in a sec uh, um, and I'm getting a lowest uh, res or the resonant point is uh, one is at about 13.2 megs which is about one to 1.2 which is pretty good 
but just uh, <laughs> a lot lower than I need it to be. So I've got the Zygu G90 with me today. Um, it would be relatively easy to just take that down and take a little bit off the uh, off the top, just to uh, bring that resonant point down. But uh, I'm not going to spend too much time faffing about. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to uh, hopefully uh, take care of that with the ATU. Hope to hear you again soon. Yankee Euro nine stroke Fox five Lima India Tango uh, seven three from the seven RG Rod near Hobart. Thank you. Two Echo Zero, Whiskey Mike, Golf Portable. Roger, Roger, you're also 59, also 5973. Bye bye. Okay, I just checked the tide time and uh, we've got about 20 minutes to high tide. So I think I'll be alright here. In the previous high tide, you can kind of see where it was here. So, anyway, what I'm going to do, I've had one contact there on 20 metres. Um, but I was here in a VK station actually in Australia, but uh, he was quite strong with me and then he disappeared. Um, he was working a station in. Uh, in uh indonesia i think it was yeah yankee bravo uh but uh i called the yankee the station in indonesia but I couldn't get through uh obviously i've only got 20 watts so i'm going to uh swap the uh the uh radials and uh the radiating element up the uh up the, in the center on the strap to the pole taped to the pole uh i've just had a quick listen on 15 meters and it's quite lively actually on 12 meters sorry um 15 meters is a few stations so i just had a little listen on 12 and uh a bit of activity on there so whilst uh 12's open which doesn't always happen hopefully it's going to happen a bit more often the band's improving so i'm going to put the uh 12 meter uh elements on and uh see what i can um rustle up on 12 meters okay i've swapped the I'll sort the radials out and the uh, and the element going up the uh, the radiating element going up the uh, up the centre there up the pole and uh, I didn't didn't realise uh, a few months back I was out and uh, I went to change bands from the 20 metre version to uh, I think it was 17 metres because I've got uh, these little kits to convert for. Uh, 20 17 15 12 and 10 and i forgot that um on the uh on the this one here it goes out the center of the pole at the end uh instead of having a four meter uh, banana socket which i should have i actually had a four meter plug so i've had to strip back a little bit of the wire bodge it on the underside of the uh, feed point there with a bit of tape I had to strip it back with my teeth as well because i haven't got any uh didn't bring any uh, like little cutters which I normally bring with me so the uh, the banana plug is actually up there now and uh, I've, I've hooked up to the analyzer and the uh, SWR's uh, a little bit high uh, but that could be for loads of different reasons um, so uh, it's about 1 to 2.2 something like that um, so uh, but it doesn't seem to be coming down sort of much either side of that either it probably doesn't help that i'm sort of sat right on top of it either but um the tuner should take care of that thing uh so obviously I've, i haven't moved the uh haven't moved the anchor points uh for the guys uh but obviously the 12 meter uh radials are a lot shorter than the 20 meter version so i've got these little uh, extenders which just work on the same principle they're just a uh, crocodile small crocodile clip onto the uh, onto the guy and then uh this clips onto the uh the radial clips onto there and obviously there's a, a little bit extra there anyway uh because uh obviously 10 meters is even shorter still so anyway so uh let's uh see what's uh, going on on 12 meters Oh, nearly tripping over the tripping over the radio. Yeah, to Echo Zero, Whiskey, my golf, portable, 59 in the logger, thank you. 7-3, good luck. Yeah, Indian Eye, Whiskey, Whiskey, America. Thank you, I shall my friend, the 2 
Mexico, Eco uh, Zero, Whiskey Mexico Golf, uh, Stroke uh, Portable, 9K2 JJ, uh, uh, your signal report uh, 55557, my name is Abdullah QSL. QSL Air Abdullah, thanks very much. You're 5959 with me. My name is Kevin, Kilo Echo Victor Alpha November. Roger. QSL, QSL, Kevin. Uh, how many watts have we start moment? Uh, two zero, 20 watts only, Roger. Two Echo Zero, Whiskey Mike Golf Portable. Okay, they say portable, portable, please make a call. Two Echo Zero, Whiskey Mike Golf Portable. You're five and nine, five and nine, Roger. Two Echo Zero, Whiskey Mike Golf Portable. Good afternoon, my brother. Nice to copy you. My name is Frank from Five and Nine, Fifty Nine. You're Five Eight and Brazil. Okay, that'll do. There's three, uh, three contacts there on twelve meters. One into Q Eight and one into Brazil. So. Got to be happy with that. Uh, there's a few other stations about, but uh, no, no DX uh, that I can sort of hear that's particularly strong with me that I've got the patience to sit here and uh, try and work. But uh, those two stations sort of uh, they heard me okay. Uh, it didn't take long for me to uh, to get through. Didn't make it on the first calls or anything, but it's not bad for 20 watts. A couple of speedboats out there in the estuary. So let me swing you around and see where the tide has uh, come in. It should uh, should be turning by now. I think it might have gone down a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to strip everything down and uh, call it a day. Okay, that's me all done. Got everything, just have a quick look around. This is a point at which I normally pick up any rubbish if I see it. But I can't actually see any, which is uh, good to see. All right, let's go. Seven three.